Good day. In this video, we're going to look at the so-called geometry problem, a rider. It's part of the grade 11 syllabus and can also be asked in the grade 12 exam. First, we look what is given. They said that this is a circle going through F, E, and B. Then they said A, B, C is a tangent at B. So this is a tangent to the circle at B. Then they said G is a point on chord BE. That means this is a straight line chord and on it is the G. Then they said BA is equal to GA. Those two red lines are equal. They indicated it on the line. Then they said let B4 equal to X. They wrote it in for us. And let B3 equal to Y. They wrote it in for us. And then they wrote that all these other lines that look like straight lines to us are straight lines. We can't assume that in a so-called geometry question unless they tell us so. The first thing that they ask us to prove is that ABGF is a cyclic quad. That is the red quadrilateral over there. First we can write B4 is equal to E2 is equal to X. That B4 is equal to that X over there. Tan chord theorem. There's the tangent, there's the chord. That angle is equal to the angle in the opposite segment. Next we can write in triangle FEB, that red triangle, angle F1 is equal to angle B3 plus E2. Exterior angles of a triangle. If you look at the triangle, the exterior angle is equal to the sum of the opposite interior angles. And that means that F1 is equal to X plus Y. Now we can write in triangle ABG, the red triangle again, B3 and 4 is equal to G3 over there, and that means it's equal to X plus Y, angles opposite equal sides of a triangle. Because we have an isosceles triangle, this angle will be equal to that angle, and that means this one's also going to be X plus Y. Then we can write F1 is equal to G3, because they're both equal to X plus Y. So that angle over there and that angle over there are both x plus y. Then we are finished with this proof and we can just write A, B, G, F is a cyclic quadrilateral, converse angles in the same segment. Because those two angles are equal, a circle will now fit around here and it will be cyclic because we have angles in the same segment converse. Please stop the video and get your brain around this. Next, they ask us to prove that AD is a tangent to the circle FGE at G. Before we do that, remember, we now have, from the previous proof, a new circle over here. Because there is a ABGF is now a cyclic quad. That means there's a new circle there we can use. And we must prove that this red line is a tangent to the circle going through this triangle. The first thing we can write is B4 is equal to G2 is equal to X, angles in the same segment. So in that new circle that we just proved, that B4 is equal to that G2 over there. They're both equal to X. Therefore, the G2 is equal to the E2 is equal to X. They are equal because they're both equal to X. Then we can just write AD is a tangent to the circle FGE at G. My reason would be converse tan chord theorem. Because that angle there is equal to that angle, that will be a tangent to the circle over there. Converse tan chord. Please stop the video and get your brain around this one. Please indicate whether you liked or disliked the video and subscribe to the channel. Enjoy geometry.